Hello, my name is Ali and welcome to my channel. Today's video is the continuation of my previous new jeans video. In this instance we're going to be talking about hype boy outfits. This is literally my favorite song from them and the era as a whole is superior, at least to me. This is the second video of my mini new jean series, and hopefully I'll post the last part which are the cookie and hurt outfits, soon. For this video I'll talk about each one of the outfits the girls wore for Hype Boy and I'll give them a rating from 1 to 10. Disclaimer. I am a fashion enthusiast and I studied fashion design in university, however, fashion is subjective. What I might think is pretty someone else might hate it, and it's completely okay. This isn't meant to be taken too seriously and I'm doing it just for fun. I'm only talking about the girls' outfits, not the girls themselves. My thoughts on their clothing are just that, on their clothing, so I hope no one misunderstands it. With that being said, let's get started. The first outfit we have is this M countdown look. These outfits have a school uniform vibe that goes perfect with the MV's concept. I really like the blue and white color palette a lot, and I think that the girls looked absolutely gorgeous in each of their looks. I really like the plaid skirts in Hien and Minji's outfits. It's so cool how they're exactly the same but in opposite colors and I really like the contrasting colors look they have. Danielle, Heron and Hanny actually also have the same skirt but just in different colors. I really like how Minji, Hanny and Hien's tops have a contrasting matching detail. It makes the outfit match even better and just adds another cool element to the look. I like Heron's top a lot and I think that it looks so nice but I wish that Danielle's top wasn't so simple. The shoes are simple but they matched really well, and I like how it's paired with the socks, especially Hanny's mesh ones. The accessories are quite simple they look good, and I love how good their hairstyles are, especially Danielle's face buns, Hien's ponytail and Hanny's bangs. These outfits also appeared in the MV and since then I completely loved them. Also, fun fact, the girls are wearing Vivian Westwood from head to toe. My ranking is Hien, Minji, Hanny, Heron and Danielle. And my rating is 10 out of 10. Next, we have these music bank outfits. These outfits also appeared in some scenes in the MV and are quite simple. They basically just consist of denim jackets, white tops and denim shorts. The clothing is really basic but I think that the girls look really good in these outfits. I really like the baggy fit of the denim jackets and at first glance they might look simple but they have little cute details. Heron has this really subtle shiny detail in it that looks really good with the stage lights. Minji's is actually a Balenciaga jacket and has a print on the back. Hien's jacket is also printed but you can't really tell on camera. Hanny's has a flower on the back. And Danielle has different colors in it. The shorts are also all denim but they aren't exactly the same within the girls. For example Hien's is asymmetric on the legs, some of them have fringes in the hem and they all aren't in the same shade of denim. Their white tops are also not exactly the same, and I personally like those little individuality elements. Their accessories also help make the look better. I really like Heron's pink headband, the colorful socks add a nice detail, Hanny's glasses are so cute and I love the glued on jewels the girls have on their bodies. As whole these outfits are simple but not boring whatsoever. The styling team managed to make them super interesting, at least to me, and I don't have a single complaint. My ranking is Hien, Heron, Hanny, Minji and Danielle. And my rating is 10 out of 10. Then, we have these other music bank outfits. The main colors in this look are white and denim. Once again I think that these outfits are simple but they look good nonetheless. I love how all the girls, except Hien, have baggy pants. It just looks so good on them and paired with the crop tops they're giving me 2000s girl group. I really really like Hanny's white corset, it just looks so good on her, Heron's tops are like two sports bra combined but they look good with her grey sweatpants. Danielle has a white jacket with a white crop top and it looks nice on her. Hien's outfit is the most different with her wearing denim shorts, a printed top and a varsity type of jacket. She kinda stands out but not necessarily in a bad way since she still matches the girls, and I personally love the white shorts underneath the denim shorts. These outfits also appeared in the MV, and in that instance Minji's top was actually different. I personally like the one on the MV more since it matched better, and the black stands out too much compared to the rest. I absolutely love their hairstyles. Each one of them has a different one but all of them look so cute and even Minji, who has her hair down, has some slicked bangs that look so good. The accessories are also so on point, love their jewelry so much, the body chain on hair and looks so good and the jewels on their bodies are absolutely perfect. My ranking is Hanny, Hien, Heron, Danielle and Minji. And my rating is 9 out of 10. Next, we have these M countdown outfits. These are the same outfits that appear in the MVS, and since I first watched them I fell completely in love with these. 
I really like the pink color palette they have, and I love how they perfectly match while none of the girls look remotely the same. I'm completely obsessed with Hanny's whole look. I desperately want those floral printed pants in my closet, and the way it's paired with the orange top that also has a flower is perfect. Her chunky white shoes match really well and her hairstyle is also so cute. Heron's outfit on the other hand is my least favorite. I don't think she looks bad at all, but I just don't love her clothing pieces. The top has that blue feather part and I don't like it. Her Hello Kitty skirt is fine but I don't love it. Her shoes are just chunky converse and she doesn't have many accessories, although I do like the blue strands on her hair. Hien's outfit is really cute. I love her two-tone top and the jeans having a bunch of fringes is really cool. She has the same pink boots we saw her in the Attention MV but I don't even mind because they are really cute. Love the matching belt and even her hair matches. Minji actually doesn't have any pink in her look but she still matches. The green Prada skirt is cute and goes really well with her top. I don't love the fluffy yellow part her asymmetric crop top has, but it isn't that bad. Her shoes are simple and the socks add a nice detail, but I do really like the hanging pearls that come from underneath her hair. Danielle's wearing a matching set that has printed hats and it's so cute. The furry coat must have been so uncomfortable to perform in but it looks really good. She has some huge matching earrings and necklace that are quite extra but don't look bad. I personally love these outfits as a whole so freaking much. My ranking is Hanny, Hien, Minji, Danielle and Heron. And my rating of course is 10 out of 10. And for their last music show performance, we have these outfits. At first glance you might think that these outfits are quite messy because none of the girls are matching, but to me they don't look messy at all. I really like how each girl is wearing a different color, it gives them individuality and they manage to not make it messy by not adding too many over-the-top prints. They instead use different texture fabrics to make the outfits more interesting, for example Heron's skirt and Hanny's white top. Minji's outfit is so pretty. I love the green biker shorts she has and the skirt on top is so cool. Her black top matches so perfectly, and especially because of the green print it has. Heron's outfit is the one that has the most things going on, but it doesn't look bad. I like the white t-shirt with the butterfly print but the main element are her bottoms. I like the purple skirt with the pink shorts peeking out, and the matching tights are so extra plus her amazing black boots. There are so many elements but they all go together perfectly. Hien's outfit is simple but she looks so good. I think that red looks so good on her and the details on the crop top are so cute. The combination of a tighter crop top with baggy jeans is something so simple, but if it works why change it? I also love her super short bangs and the way the accessories help elevate the look is so nice. Hanny's outfit is also simple but another combination of a crop top and baggy jeans, but I like the texture of the top and the leather fabric on the pants plus the white and yellow looks really nice. Danielle has a matching pink short and top combo, I personally think it's so cute and I like how it looks paired with the crop printed jacket. And also her purple boots are to die for. In this instance I think that the accessories are so good, and I freaking love how all of them have different hairstyles. These outfits also made an appearance in the MVS but they weren't that prevalent as some other set of outfits. In some scenes in the MV Heron actually had a completely different outfit. Instead of this look, she had an oversized white t-shirt with some printed leggings and some white chunky shoes. And I personally think that her outfit in the music show is way better. My ranking is Minji, Heron, Danielle, Kian and Hanny. And my rating is 10 out of 10. Then, we have this special performance they did. These outfits are very sporty-like inspired, almost as if they were going to a game but not exactly to play in it. I really like the overall aesthetic of them and I think the girls look fantastic. The color palette also being almost entirely in red and black is something I love, but the hints of white and blue also go really well together. Hien's outfit is so pretty, I love the red scarf top paired with the matching black and red open jersey, plus the denim shorts also go really well. Hanny's outfit is similar in terms of color palette. I really like her black sweatpants with the cropped black jersey, and the red little details are so nice. Minji's outfit is the simplest, just a black cropped jersey top and some denim shorts, but she looks good nonetheless. Heron's outfit is also quite simple but I really like the baggy tank top with the baggy denim jeans. Danielle's outfit is really cute. I like the denim shorts with the crop top and the jersey opened is really nice. The accessories make the look so much better, but especially the hairstyles. I love Danielle's little bows, the scarf on Hanny is so cute, love the pigtails on Minji, Heron's bun is simple but she looks good, and although Ian is the only one with her hair down, she still looks amazing. These outfits also appeared in the MV and I personally think that they are so good, so I think it's a shame that they didn't wear them for an actual music show stage. Also, I really like how Heron's jersey says new jeans instead of some random sports team. My ranking is Ian, Hanny, Danielle, Heron and Minji. And my rating is 10 out of 10. 
Next, we have the outfits the girls only wore for the MV. First off we have these ones. These outfits also consist of mostly denim, and are quite similar to these ones, but they also feel quite different. In this instance we don't have as much denim on denim since the girls are wearing different pieces. Danielle is actually wearing the same jacket as in the previously mentioned look, but this time she has it paired with some pink shorts instead, that match her socks so nicely. Hyun isn't actually wearing any denim piece, she instead has blue that still matches the other girls. I really like the oversized t-shirt look with the biker shorts, it's something simple but the prints make it more interesting and she looks freaking good. Hanny has a cropped hoodie with some denim shorts and also the same jacket as in these outfits. Her look is simple with not much going on, but she looks good and she matches the girls. Minji has some denim shorts with the same oversized jacket that we've seen before, but her top actually changes sometimes. In some scenes she has a crop top with stars printed on it, and in other instances she has a printed crop top with a cartoon face in it. Both of them are good and she looks amazing either way. Heron is the most different one, with her not wearing any denim piece or even blue, but I freaking love her outfit and she doesn't stand out in a bad way. Her printed crop top goes so nice with her shorts and I love the print on print. The pieces she's wearing are simple, but this is such a 90s look, like my mom for sure wore that 30 years ago. These outfits don't have much going on and are quite basic, but the girls look so good and I personally love them. My ranking is Heron, Hien, Danielle, Minji and Hanny. And my rating is 10 out of 10. We then, have these outfits the girls wore for the phone pool scene. Because of the set the girls are of course wearing clothing you would wear at a pool, but I like how well they still matched and their clothing is genuinely pretty. I really like the pink and blue color palette they had going on. Minji's bathing suit is blue and I like the wrap pink skirt she has plus the contrasting colors look really good. Hien's printed bathing suit is really pretty and her blue shorts are simple, but they go well together. Danielle's bathing suit is also printed, what I like the most about hers is the asymmetric detail in the neckline, and I like the printed skirt paired with the printed bathing suit. Hanny actually doesn't have any swimwear, she instead has a pink dress that's quite simple but so cute. Heron is the only one wearing a two-piece swimsuit, and I like how the bottoms peek out a bit from her pink shorts. All of their printed swimsuits are from Machino, just like some of the ones they wore in the Attention Beach scene. Also, all of the girls are wearing colorful Crocs, and although I'm not usually a fan of them, it makes total sense in this context plus they actually look really good with their clothing. My ranking is Danielle, Minji, Heron, Hanny and Hee-In. And my rating is 10 out of 10. Next, we have these outfits. We unfortunately barely get to see these outfits in the MVS since they only appear in a few scenes and not for many seconds. This is another instance where you might find the outfits messy since all of them are wearing a completely different thing, but it wouldn't really make sense for you and your friends to be wearing the same thing while you're hanging out, so I don't actually mind that they don't match too much, although if you pay attention, you can tell that they kinda do. Annie's outfits is one of the simplest, she just has an oversized white t-shirt with some yellow biker shorts, and I like how it's paired with the black socks and boots. Her shorts actually match Ian's skirt, which is also yellow. She has a silk over the knee skirt and she has it paired with a white crop top, some white socks and black sneakers, something simple but she looks so good. Minji's outfit is definitely the simplest since it only consists of a slip mini dress and a blue top underneath. But I like how the print and the sequin details make it more interesting. Her dress actually matches Danielle's outfit because of the color palette. Minji's dress has red which ties in with the strawberry print on Danielle's top, and the pleated shiny long skirt also has some red in it. Heron's outfit is the one that stands out the most since it doesn't really match the other girls, but she looks good nonetheless. I really like her skirt, it's so extra with the print and the feather detail but it's cute, and how it's paired with the darker pink crop top is really nice. I also like the detail of her skirt being longer than her boots. I personally think that these outfits are really cute but I get why they didn't perform with them. Heron, Danielle and Ian's mid-length skirts would have been so uncomfortable to perform in since your movement is kinda restricted. Minji's might find her mini dress uncomfortable, even if it's not tight, and honestly Hanny is the only one who looks comfortable to perform in her outfit. My ranking is Ian, Danielle, Minji, Heron and Hanny. And my rating is 10 out of 10. Then, we have these outfits. The girls wore these outfits in the MV and once again they only appear in a few scenes, mostly in Hien's version. The set was in a school and this is another instance where their outfits don't match but for the type of scene they were doing I don't mind it. Hien has a really good outfit. I love her green sequin top and how it's paired with the black and white gingham skirt is so cute. Her white socks match really well and the sandals with the socks is quite the look. This is totally an outfit that would get you noticed at school, and she looks stunning. 
Minji's outfit is quite simple with her only wearing a cropped sweater and some green baggy shorts, nothing too outstanding. However, I like how the green details in the sweater match the shorts, and her accessories also make the look better. I like the beaded necklace and the big printed earrings, which are actually the same ones we saw in the Attention MV. Annie's look is actually my favorite. I really like the printed crop top with a long printed skirt. Love how good the print on print looks and her shoes also go really well. Her accessories are also so freaking cute, love her rings and the heart earrings are to die for. Danielle's outfit is a cream polo shirt with some red, brown and orange details that go amazingly with the printed shorts she has. She also has some cream boots with brown details and the red socks go really well with the clothing. Heron's outfit is the only one I don't love as much. It's quite simple, she only has a purple tank top with some light green cargo pants that have some flower details in them. A really early 2000s look if I say so myself but the accessories really add another layer to it. These outfits don't really match but I don't think they look bad, and I would have loved for the girls to perform in them, maybe switch some things for the girls to be more comfortable, but they are just so pretty and deserved more airtime. My ranking is Hanny, Hien, Danielle, Minji and Heron. And my rating is 9 out of 10, solely because of Hiran's outfit. And last but not least, we have some outfits the girls wore on their solo scenes. First off, we have this Hien look. It consists of some denim shorts, a bodysuit and a coat. I really like the printed bodysuit, and the pink long coat she has is amazing. I love the print on print look, and her whole outfit actually looks really good. She has the outfit paired with some black boots that go really well, her hairstyle is so cute and her earrings are so freaking cute. For me this is definitely a 10 out of 10 look. Then we have this Hanny look. We literally only see it for like 3 seconds in Minji's version MV, and I want to see the whole thing. It looks like she's wearing a black top with half the shoulder sleeves and some really nice white trimming. Her hair looks amazing with a white ribbon, and it seems as if they filmed this scene in the same carnival place, so I don't get why we didn't get to see more of this look. From what we get to see, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Then, we have this look Minji wore in one of her solo scenes. She has a green striped oversized shirt paired with what I think are some matching green shorts and a black crop top. I really like the matching green scrunchie she has on her hair, and it's a shame we only get to see this look for 10 seconds because it's so cute. My ranking for this look is definitely 10 out of 10. And lastly, we have these looks Heron and Danielle wore at the beginning and at the end of their MV. Danielle is wearing a tan crop top with some pink baggy pants. Her accessories are simple but they look good with the look. Heron, on the other hand, is wearing a white oversized t-shirt with some printed biker shorts. I really like the necklace she has on and her bracelets and rings are also cute. These outfits are simple and don't have much going on, but it makes within the scenes they were used for. They both are 9 out of 10 for me. Like I said in the intro, this is my favorite song, and part as a whole, from their debut era. Their styling is also so on point and it has some of my favorite looks they had ever worn. Attention had a flowy and simpler aesthetic to the outfits they wore, but Hype Boy is different. The outfits feel a lot trendier and very 2000s inspired. They still have that youthful vibe new jeans are known for but with an edge to them. I'm always looking for inspiration in K-pop styling and Hype Boy styling is so far my favorite for it since basically all their looks were amazing. For me all the girls look gorgeous most of the times but for sure the best style this era were Hien and Hanny. Both of them had my favorite looks and I don't think there were a single time where they look bad. Also, you can totally call me biased but for me the Hype Boy styling is 10 out of 10. I'm actually curious about what other people think since I don't really know if I'm biased or if the styling was actually that flawless, so let me know what you think in the comments. Hype Boy was the song that made me dive deeper into the girls because of how much I loved it since first listen. I'm really excited for their comeback, even though they just debuted, and I really wonder if they'll release music just as good as Hype Boy. These girls have quickly become one of my current favorite groups, and I'm literally looking forward to every little thing they do. I think they have such a unique aura to them, and in my opinion they are bringing something different to the K-pop industry. It literally took me so freaking long to choose a bias, and currently I'm 90% sure is Hanny, but at this point I know it can change at any moment. I really had so much fun doing this video, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.